what is going on guys new day new video and uh we're out here nice and early today in the dark which i always like and uh we are up here in northern minnesota today gonna be doing some ice fishing for the elusive walleye um weather unbelievably wild the last couple days just absolutely insane and today's really the first day i'll actually be able to like get outside and do some fishing and stuff like that and um, yeah, we hope it's gonna be good, but it's about two degrees out right now. And uh, for the sake of the cameras, we are gonna set the shack up. Um, I would much rather be running around hole hopping. And, uh, but uh, we're, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it anyways. We're gonna set the shack up, get inside, get the heat going, get the otter flipped up. And uh, everything's gonna be a sloppy, soupy, frozen mess inside of there. Um, so it's gonna take me a little while to kind of get everything rolling, but um, we're kind of set up on the edge of a big piece of structure. One, time, one thing I always say when you get to do body water, look for the biggest spot so we're on big massive shallow flat um and we're just kind of on a knob of that anytime you have like a really big spot and then like a tail that goes off one angle on one end of it that's a lot of times a sweet spot so that's where we're going to be setting up right where it kind of breaks out into a little bit deeper water and uh stay tuned let's get the shack set up get the heat rolling get some lines down and catch some walleyes Here we go, marking. Come on. Dude, eat it. What is going on here? Dude, this is wild. There is a pot of fish under me right now. There we go. <laughs> finally, finally got that fish to eat. He actually bit it twice and I just missed them once. There we go. Look at that to get things rolling. That is what I'm talking about. Just getting set up in the otter and uh, fish on the jig rod just immediately. He's a good little keeper sized one. I think we're going to let him go. There we go. And I just kind of started out with a green UV Acme Rattlemaster that we talked about. There we go. Number one on the jig rod. Sun not even up yet. He is just a bright, perky little guy to get things going. <laughs> we'll get him back down the hole and hopefully do that many more times today. All right, well, fish number one on the board here. There might even honestly be another fish down there already. Oh yeah, look at this, he's rocket shipping up. Right there, oh my goodness, dude. Right off the bat. To him. This is gonna be a little bit nicer fish. There we go. There we go. No bait on the old Rattlemaster this morning. Not needed. Look at that. And we are absolutely in one of these windows right now where there's just a pot of fish right under us. Beautiful, beautiful walleyes to get things going. So perky, so clean, so mean. They are angry right now, just angry. When you get a pot of them under you like this, you just gotta keep getting down there kind of as quick as you can. Don't want to take too much time kind of messing around. I'm not marking any right now, but I like to fish the spoon kind of way up off the bottom and real aggressive when they get like this. I got to get my dead stick set up and down though. Got to get the dead stick down and we'll kind of keep an eye on the, the mark them here to see if any more come in as I'm doing that. And for our dead stick rod, we're just running bait that seems to be about halfway alive still <laughs> it's been a little frozen in the old uh in the old live well box there we're just taking a single hook split shot and hooking kind of big fat heads or small shiners and the way i like to do is single hook closer to the head than to the tail and you want to run it through kind of like that where that point is facing the head like that that is definitely how you want to hook them. We'll just send that guy right down into the zone. And that should be a productive way to run a couple of lines, I would think, here. Once we get this kind of untangled. There we go. All right. They're back in the game. No. 
no way, dude. Oh my goodness. Are you guys watching how ridiculous this is? Drop down, fish on. There's another one. Oh man, are they hot right now. We just got to keep an eye on that dead stick while we're sitting here talking. It almost looked like it just, it did just get popped. Wow. We're getting doubled up. All right, we're going to let that one run. He's running some line. Always fish a dead stick that has a super soft tip so that you can watch that rod kind of load that tip up. And a lot of times it'll go dunk and then that tip will just load. And I just got him free spooling right now so I can show you this one. There we go. Oh my gosh, do we have some fish under us right now? Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful walleye right there. Let's let him go. All right, time to deal with number two. Wow, missed him. Not sure how that one didn't get hooked, but we'll bait up. Catching them crazy fast right now. I know I just gave that little spiel on how to hook a minnow so you hook all the fish, but sometimes they just get off. Ate the dead stick. Just had a mark come in just a second ago and he did not eat the jig. But he's definitely, he's definitely got the dead stick. Just taking a little bit of line. And having that real soft tip on the dead stick, that's kind of my telltale, obviously, for when I got one. Let's see the way this rod loads, just a lot of tip flex. That's kind of what you want out of a dead stick rod. There he is, right there. Feels pretty decent. Where you at, buddy? Man, this thing's fighting. Actually, kind of weird. Come on, buddy. We're just going to easy up the hole. Man, are they on and charged up this morning, aren't they? He's all feisty right at the bottom. There we go. <laughs> on the dead stick. Hook right in the side of the mouth. We'll get you popped off here, buddy. It'll only take a second. Man, it is so much fun when you land on them like this and they're all charged up. Some of the fun is fishing. A lot of times, you know, it's low light hours. A lot of times, middle of the day, it's a little more moving around. A little bit hopping to different spots. A little bit dealing with one, two fish here, one, two fish there. But if we can sit here this morning for a couple hours and catch them like this, it's about as good as it gets right there. Beautiful walleye to start the day off. Back he goes, back for more. I don't know if I should keep one or two to bring home to Shelby. Or if I should just let them all go. I think we'll make that decision later in the day. There we go. Right there. Fish on. It's something small. It's something not very big. Another one of these 14 inches here. Came in good on the spoon though. Came in decent. It's not a super big one. Well, it's kind of slowed down a little bit. And uh, I think we might kind of be ready for that first move of the day. You know, a lot of these big, big pieces of structure, fish are kind of constantly moving around. There we go, nothing crazy. 14 and a half, maybe 15 inch. But um, just not kind of seeing that high volume that I would like to see. So we should set ourselves the time limit. What time is it now? Okay, so that's been, it's been 15 minutes since our last fish catch, I believe. And let's give it, let's give it one more 15. And if nothing happens or it doesn't start getting like really hot and aggressive again, I think we move spots a little bit. Oh my goodness. Did you guys see that fish fly up? Sitting on my phone. See, Ever's just unbelievably tangled up here. There we go. That was a vapor trail of a bite. That was a speedy one right there, and I absolutely love it when they do that. And a lot of times, if you just sit there and bounce that spoon right by the bottom, you're not going to get those bites. Keep that bait up high. Kind of crank on it a little bit more. And those are the bites you can expect to get right there. 
go super speedy, shoot way up the graph and bite, especially you know in these prime time hours. I think a lot of people have this big misconception that when you're jigging, you should be like within a foot or like really pretty much on the bottom. In reality, a lot of times sitting up above bottom, three, four feet up, way better solution, especially when fish are going like this. I got there's no bait even on the the rattle master there. That's that little UV green. The gold back. There we go. That's a nice one. That was seven minutes after I said 15 more minutes or we're leaving. Look at that. That is just a super nice walleye right there. Let's let them go. We are catching them today. No doubt about it. See you later, buddy. See you later. <laughs> oh, see how high they're coming up, dude? Oh my god, dude, that thing's just that's, shot up. That's how, they, that's how I've been getting them all, just way up high like that. They just choked me, too. Well, welcome Cody back inside the otter here. He had to go drop some dudes off this morning. Look how they ate that Castmaster. Working that bait way up high in the water column. And uh, they have no fear of elevating. That is for sure. Get them popped off here quick. Any pliers? Yeah, I got one right here. I don't even know if like he's even oh, heard dude, bottom. Well, keep an eye on the old dead stick. Mm. How come every pair of forceps is too small for your thumbs? You notice that? You gotta get the Rapala ones. I did have the Rapala ones. and then Like the red ones? Yeah, and then I feel like I lost them. <laughs> Maybe I got them. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I did lose them. Forceps are one of those things I feel like you buy one every time you go, like depth bobs when you're tip-up fishing. I feel like every time you go, you got to buy another pair of them. There we go. Man, did he choke that bait. There we go. Just... <laughs> oh, <laughs> saw him for a second. There he goes, back down. We'll uh, drop back down, maybe get another one. Yeah, for a second. Oh, Cody, here we go. Game over. What? How'd he come off? How is it even possible, dude? Dude, he whacked the thing so hard. Oh. You just grab the stud stick? I don't think so. He just, like, something flickered on the screen for a second there. Though. Oh, he's probably chasing it, though. How did that fish not get hooked? I don't get to that. Oh, he's got it. Yeah. It's all you, big dog. Is it all me? It's all you. It's all me? Look at that rod tip. Look at that thing just load. Ready? Yep. Ready, folks? Ooh, there he is, son. First fish of the day for Cody. Oh, it's a nice one. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, we just got another one. Just got another one right there. Look at that. I'll even pop them off for you. Oh, you are so nice. Because I'm such a nice guy like that. You are so nice. That fish came in, smoked my jig. No idea what happened because he didn't get hooked. And uh, went down, started messing with the dead stick. And a few seconds later. Sham wow. Sham wow. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Whatever you want to say. There we go. Another beautiful wallet right there. Let's let him go. See you later, buddy. Oop, 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 oop. All right, we got stuff going on. Right there, fish on. <laughs> you know, as there we go. Another nice waller right there. Kind of as these morning bites transition into, you know, kind of late morning, we're seeing a lot more fish kind of come up to these dead sticks. It's always, always a good idea to kind of be running, you know, your maximum available amount of lines and mixing up that presentations. You know, on one rod, we got a spoon, which I'm working really aggressive. And on the other rod here, we just got that nice, small shiner, a big fat head getting the job done. So a lot of times, you know, you're calling fish to that. And a lot of times, 
um, it can kind of be a day saver. You know, you can go from just catching, you know, those fish in the morning and thinking it's slow all day to having a dead stick presentation down and having a great day all day long. So there we go. Let's let that kid go right there. It has been a fun morning in the shack so far. Something happened. might have one. The rod just kind of just went dipped for a second and I just opened the bale. Slow and steady. Right there. And fish on. <laughs> the midday dead stick bite. Feels like a pretty decent fish too. He actually did take some line. Nice and slow and steady with him at the hole here. Oh, oh, I like that. I like the looks of that. Get up here, buddy. Man, dude, some of these fish at the hole are just so wild. Going real nice and soft and gingerly on them. Oh, yeah, that is a nice fish right there. <laughs> there we go. Oh, man, never gets old. Beautiful morning out, sitting in the otter, catching fish. Very, very steadily. There we go, look at that. That's a quality one right there. Nice, fat, thick one right there. We're gonna pop it off quick. Might not even need the forceps. It's just hook kind of right on the bottom lip. Go on out of there, buddy. You're almost off. There we go, look at that. Oh man, doesn't get any better. He's got that cool black spot right there that some of them have out here. Look at that. Fish after fish sitting in the comfort of the shack. We'll take that any day of the week. The one two punch dead stick rod and uh, spoon is absolutely killing it. Oh my gosh, is it a gorgeous day out here. Low winds today and just absolutely gorgeous. And we're gonna wrap the video up right there. You know, it's still kind of mid morning right now. Had a fight, fabulous morning in the Otter Lodge and uh, just caught a pile of walleyes this morning, which is always a good day. No complaints about that. I think we're gonna try to film something else the rest of today, something a little bit different. And then tomorrow we have very exciting trips um, where, we're, where we're going to, a destination I've never been to, very excited to fish it, all that kind of stuff. So I'm excited to show you guys that and bring you guys along the way. But hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed watching this one. Um, every fish I caught jigging was on that eighth ounce Acme rattling cast master and that UV green. And then obviously the dead stick, super productive as well. So um, super fun bite, catching a pile of fish. No complaints on my end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the content. Hopefully you guys stay tuned for more and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys next time.